Hi, I'm KG with Drones Made Easy, and today I'm gonna to show you how to connect your DJI Avada to an external monitor setup with the RC Pro. So to start off, what we're gonna need is the Avada, the FPV Remote Controller 2, or the motion controller in order to fly. And then we'll need a set of FPV goggles V2 or the goggles 2 to connect to our RC Pro. Next, we'll need a USB-C to USB-C cable to make that connection and an HDMI mini cable to standard HDMI or whatever HDMI your external monitor will support. Last but not least, we're gonna need the RC Pro. However, this will not work for the RC Pro Enterprise. Now, to start getting everything connected, let's power on all our devices. We'll start by connecting the HDMI mini cable to our RC Pro and the other end of the cable to our external monitor. All right, now this looks like it's working, but we still need to go into the RC Pro settings on the homepage in order to change one more setting. This will allow our goggles to display the Avada camera view while in flight. So swipe up to get back to our homepage. Then we'll click the settings icon. And toward the bottom, we see a display setting. We'll click that. At the bottom of this menu, we see FPV Live. So we wanna enable that, click OK. And now, we can use this with our Vada, so we'll swipe back up to get to the DJI Fly app. It's important to note that this setting will reset every time that you power off the RC Pro, so this step will need to be done every time you intend on using the RC Pro with the Avada. Now that this setting has been changed, we can connect our RC Pro with the goggles using the USB-C to USB-C cable. All right, now we have a connection. By connecting the RC Pro to the goggles, we're using the RC as a remote ID enabled device. You will not need to connect the RC Pro to the internet for remote ID functionality to work. However, if you want to unlock GeoZones, then you will need to have an internet connection like usual. With the RC Pro connected to the goggles with the USB-C cable, we are finally able to see the camera view on our external monitor with about a half second of latency. Using a hardwired approach to transmit video from the goggles to the external monitor will ensure your connection is always secure and private. All right, so the final thing we'll mention in this video are the new DJI goggles Integra. With the latest update to the DJI Fly app version 1.9.9 or later, you will now be able to utilize the RC Pro to output to an external monitor in the same way as the goggles 2 and the goggles V2. So if you're still having any issues, just double check your firmware versions on all your devices and also double check the DJI Fly app on the RC Pro. At this point, if you're still having trouble getting things working, then feel free to give us a call or send us an email and we'll help make things easy for you.